All right, I finally uh, put this up here just to show the folks. Um, I have two 450 watt Renogy solar panels bifacials stacked on one single large um, 50 inch RV mount style or roof mount style and I did the old brick aroni like I said each brick weighs about 30 something pounds each very heavy duty but I just let you know I married two two four two excuse me 250 watt Renogy bifacials let me see if I can uh, where's the specs on these here you go here's the Renogy for the for the future indeed it is here's the cereals I can put a link in the description below this baby right here this is along with my almost 1.6 kilowatts of Renogy solar panel bifacials this one is their latest model it's the end model that's 250 watt basically these panels are the same size as these 220 watts from Renogy. So these are 220 watt bifacials. I would have got these if they had them available at the time, but these work out great. It gives, you know, the total by math, what they have is 1,560 watts. But I've constantly seen my EcoFlow uh, Delta Pro downstairs fill up to 1.6 max, and it, it, and it generates even more beyond that. But right here, right now today, you know, this is in uh, uh, November, and uh, sun's out, pretty clear. Right, I went downstairs, I saw um, out of these two panels, it's getting about 451 watts. So, you know, a little shy of one uh, 500. But, um, yeah, I expected good things out of this thing right here. And so, reflection from my TPO roof, get the reflection. I just got the wires running, running across the house, pretty much going down down and through the other side but it just goes through into the wall where my security cameras are and then it powers uh, powers the uh, Delta Max excuse me not Delta Max Delta 2 <laughs> the, it's 1024 watts of capacity so I'm gonna go down there right now and show you what's going on but before I do go down there, I forgot to explain that uh, I have it in series. Now you can see two panels going on here because there's four connectors. There's one this side. I just have to pause the wire negative. I, I got about a 50 foot line, so I got extra. So I basically series them together because uh, EcoFlows like things in series so you can max out the voltage. The amps are not as maximum as they can be, so you just run voltage in this coin, this kind of setup here for these. Just like all the Delta Pro taking up all those. That's Nature's Generator wind turbines going at it. Nature's Generator also has a solar panel. I maxed out the Nature Generator that I have. I have one panel and two of those wind turbines running it. These are all for the Delta Pro right here. These are the 450s. You remember from my last videos, but anyways. This is about this guy. This is the latest and greatest solar panel right now from Renogy. And it's working fantastically, warming up. Temperature out here is probably about 60, 60 degrees right now. Pretty nice. You can see out to the ocean, the BART station. But yeah, this thing's about, I have this height right here angled out. It's probably about three feet tall from here to the tip at the angle. I just set it that way. It's a pretty nice angle to the sun. See that tilt? See the sun over there? So, a little set like that. But anyways, let's go downstairs and uh, take a look at the little Delta II. Alright, this is it. This is the Delta II. This it has the little solar panel in here. Oh, it's 99%, so it's all full again, so I can show you that it's a... Uh, it just constantly keeps this bad boy full and tight. It drops to about 97%, then recharges again. Then when the sun goes down, it just runs strictly on battery. And I can just unplug it in the back here. It has that, what is that, XT60 or 90 connector? That's all that is. So, just plug that in the back there. 
in the slot where it's supposed to go. Yep, that's it. And this thing, just to show you folks, is charging this UPS, which is a battery back, you know, it's a, a light duty backup thing just for a short moment, but it, it gives uninterrupted power supply while this only gives 30 milliseconds while this is almost instantaneous. I also have the Wemo, Wemo, a wireless uh, power connector over there as well. If it was running low and things weren't uh, catching up because of bad weather or whatnot, I can always turn on the wall outlet. But I don't do that during on peak hours. <laughs> so what is this charging and backing up? What's all these wires doing here? Basically, this is plugged into this thing directly. And this is powering a, a sort of, of different devices. It's got the alarm. It's got Apple TV. It's got the printer. It's got our modem right here. It's got an Airport Extreme. It's got my Think Center, um, X1 Carbon, this Bose thing. Ignore that. I charged this right here. So it, it's charging quite a few things. I mean, this thing at its full bore can take up, you know, like. 100 watts and then these two combine about 30 ish that takes about 15 but when it's printing it takes up more i'm not sure that thing's barely taking a water too so is this apple tv oh and one more thing the samsung 45 inch this thing takes about 30 watts when we turn it on approximately so you're looking at with everything on you're you're talking about this is this is about you know a couple hundred watts when everything's all full bore uh, going at once, but that's never the case right now. Just got the modem, Apple TV, uh, or modem and Airport Extreme. I mean, you can see it's always drawing a steady 30 watts. That's all it's getting. Right now, it's probably getting it from that and these two devices. That's all I got going on. But when I turn them all on, you can see things spike up a little bit. So yeah, and and if I'm using it. Like I said, it's 99% right now. I guess what I could do is turn on the TV and stuff and let's see how much it uses. Well, let's let's kick on the printer for fun. Printer. See, booting up, right? Okay, how much is it taking now? Oh, about four, one, four, one, one, yeah, maybe one for one watt right now. Interesting. So that's going on. I can open this, turn this on, plug this in. Let's see, I'm turning it on now. Is it booting? I just want to see. Okay, now we're spiking 86 watts from 30, right? It was a steady 30 watts, now we got 86. See the computer's booting up. Let turn on the Apple TV, which also turns on the airport. Oh, it turns on the Apple. And there you go. Let's see. Let's whoop, let's let's go to YouTube here. Uh huh. Let's see here. What are we watching? So you got this on. Well, I'm not watching yet. Let's see how much power now we got. Oh, bouncing to 116, 103. All right, let's see. I don't know. Let's watch some news. Hmm. New questions raised after something. A brutal attack aboard a U.S. I'll put the sound down. Let's see now. We're playing something. 103 watts. So you got airport. Let's see. I think I have to turn up the volume. The FBI says suspect Everett Chad Nelson was Let's walking back to his seat from the bathroom. Ah, it's still steady at 103 regardless of sound. Oh, 113. 107. There, I lowered it all the way down. See, see it drop? Yep. So, yeah. Right now, it is 3 o'clock. So the sun's still out. I got this this thing. I'm not printing anything. The computer's not really logged in or anything. So let's just go ahead and log in here. And we go like this.
Okay, now it's up. Did it increase the usage? Yeah, 124. Spiking up a little bit. Apple TV is playing the YouTube right now too as well. So this is everything going full bore. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, all this stuff, it'll eventually drop this to 97. And uh, I'm just gonna wait till it gets to 97, start charging, and then I'll record again. Finally, it is dropped down. And see, the watts, 4, 6, 4, 15, 4, 16, at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun is already going down. I uh, didn't hook all this up or, or record this when it was at top noon or noon or, you know, the best times maybe 1 o'clock or so in the day. Um, but those are 500 watt panels, and I'm getting 414. And it's not even that intense. Um, I expect these these panels, honestly, to hit 500 watts one of these days. I will catch it. I mean, right now, the sun's already going at a slight angle. And uh, you're, I'm still getting 413 watts inputting in to this. This thing will be charged and maintain charge again. I did speed it up, obviously, because, yeah. <laughs> I'm just plugging in all devices. I'm like, come on, use all this stuff. Use the energy. <laughs> So I still have YouTube going, and I have another YouTube thing going on right here. So I was utilizing the power, basically. But it's using it's charging faster than it's using up. So this thing is just going to... I pretty much got all this, all these equipment in this room, and the TV and all that, off-grid. So this is all off-grid right now. But like I said, if I turn that on, then I'm back on the grid if I need to. But, yep, thank you, PG&E, for basically messing up our uh, costs and everything. But I hope this was informative. All I do is basically, like I said, I have a um, power strip back there going back there and then this UPS going back there, this power strip. So everything is supported by the things that aren't uh, sensitive electronics. I basically have them on a on a power strip, uh, a surge protected power, power strip, while my more sensitive like security cameras that I want up still, you know, computer components, stuff like that, a modem, all that is on this UPS. And this UPS is on the back of this guy, as well as that power strip is on the back of this guy, powering all these devices I have here, including this. Anyways, um, I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.